The Empire of Japan, Dari Ben Di Guo Dai Nippon Taikoku, literally meaning, Empire of Great Japan, was the historical nation state and great power that existed from the Meiji Restoration in 1868 to the enactment of the 1947 Constitution of Modern Japan. Japan's rapid industrialization and militarization under the slogan Fukoku Kiyohe Fuguo enrich the country, strengthen the armed forces led to its emergence as a world power and the establishment of a colonial empire following the First Sino-Japanese War, the Boxer Rebellion, the Russo-Japanese War, and World War I economic and political turmoil in the 1920s led to the rise of militarism, eventually culminating in Japan's membership in the Axis Alliance and the conquest of a large part of the Asia-Pacific in World War II. Japan's armed forces initially achieved large-scale military successes during the Second Sino-Japanese War 1937 1945 and the Pacific War. However, after many Allied victories and following the Soviet Union's declaration of war against Japan and invasion of Manchuria, and the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Empire surrendered to the Allies on August 15, 1945. A period of occupation by the Allies followed the surrender, and a new constitution was created with American involvement in 1947, officially bringing the Empire of Japan to an end. Occupation and reconstruction continued well into the 1950s, eventually forming the current nation-state whose full title is the State of Japan, in Japanese simply rendered Japan, in English. The emperors during this time, which spanned the entire Meiji and Taisho, and the lesser part of the Showa era, are now known in Japan by their posthumous names, which coincide with those era names, Emperor Meiji Mutsuhito, Emperor Taisho Yoshihito, and Emperor Showa Hirohito. Topic. Terminology The historical state is frequently referred to as the Empire of Japan, the Japanese Empire, or Imperial Japan in English. In Japanese it is referred to as Dai Nippon Taikoku, Dari Ben Di Guo which translates to Empire of Great Japan, Dai, Great, Nippon, Japanese, Taikoku, Empire. This meaning is significant in terms of geography, encompassing Japan and its surrounding areas. The nomenclature Empire of Japan had existed since the anti-Tokugawa domains, Satsuma and Choshu, which founded their new government during the Meiji Restoration, with the intention of forming a modern state to resist Western domination. Due to its name in kanji characters and its flag, it was also given the exonym Empire of the Sun. Background. After two centuries, the seclusion policy, or Sokoku, under the shoguns of the Edo period came to an end when the country was forced open to trade by the Convention of Kanagawa in 1854. Thus, the period known as Bakumatsu began. The following years saw increased foreign trade and interaction, commercial treaties between the Tokugawa shogunate and western countries were signed. In large part due to the humiliating terms of these unequal treaties, the Soganate soon faced internal hostility, which materialized into a radical, xenophobic movement, the Sun o Joy literally, revere the emperor, expel the barbarians. In March 1863, the emperor issued the order to expel barbarians. Although the Soganate had no intention of enforcing the order, it nevertheless inspired attacks against the Soganate itself and against foreigners in Japan. The Namamugi incident during 1862 led to the murder of an Englishman, Charles Lennox Richardson, by a party of samurai from Satsuma. The British demanded reparations but were denied. While attempting to exact payment, the Royal Navy was fired on from coastal batteries near the town of Kagoshima. They responded by bombarding the port of Kagoshima in 1863. The Tokugawa government agreed to pay an indemnity for Richardson's death. Shelling of foreign shipping in Shimonoseki and attacks against foreign property led to the bombardment of Shimonoseki by a multinational force in 1864. The Choshu clan also launched the failed coup known as the Kinman Incident. The Satsuma Choshu Alliance was established in 1866 to combine their efforts to overthrow the Tokugawa Bakufu. In early 1867, Emperor Komei died of smallpox and was replaced by his son, Crown Prince Mutsuhito. Meiji. On November 9, 1867, Tokugawa Yoshinobu resigned from his post and authorities to the emperor, agreeing to 
be the instrument for carrying out imperial orders. The Tokugawa shogunate had ended. However, while Yoshinobu's resignation had created a nominal void at the highest level of government, his apparatus of state continued to exist. Moreover, the shogunal government, the Tokugawa family in particular, remained a prominent force in the evolving political order and retained many executive powers, a prospect hardliners from Satsuma and Choshu found intolerable. On January 3, 1868, Satsuma Choshu forces seized the imperial palace in Kyoto, and the following day had the 15 year old Emperor Meiji declare his own restoration to full power. Although the majority of the Imperial Consultative Assembly was happy with the formal declaration of direct rule by the court and tended to support a continued collaboration with the Tokugawa, Saigo Takamori threatened the assembly into abolishing the title shogun and ordered the confiscation of Yoshinobu's lands. On January 17, 1868, Yoshinobu declared that he would not be bound by the proclamation of the restoration and called on the court to rescind it. On January 24, Yoshinobu decided to prepare an attack on Kyoto, occupied by Satsuma and Choshu forces. This decision was prompted by his learning of a series of arson attacks in Edo, starting with the burning of the outworks of Edo Castle, the main Tokugawa residence. <laughs> Boshin War The Boshin War was fought between January 1868 and May 1869. The alliance of samurai from southern and western domains and court officials had now secured the cooperation of the young Emperor Meiji, who ordered the dissolution of the 200-year-old Tokugawa shogunate. Tokugawa Yoshinobu launched a military campaign to seize the emperor's court at Kyoto. However, the tide rapidly turned in favor of the smaller but relatively modernized imperial faction and resulted in defections of many daimyos to the imperial side. The Battle of Toba Fushimi was a decisive victory in which a combined army from Choshu, Tosa, and Satsuma domains defeated the Tokugawa army. A series of battles were then fought in pursuit of supporters of the shogunate. Edo surrendered to the imperial forces and afterwards Yoshinobu personally surrendered. Yoshinobu was stripped of all his power by Emperor Meiji and most of Japan accepted the emperor's rule. Pro-Tokugawa remnants, however, then retreated to northern Honshu and later to Ezo present-day Hokkaido, where they established the breakaway Republic of Ezo. An expeditionary force was dispatched by the new government and the Ezo Republic forces were overwhelmed. The siege of Hakodate came to an end in May 1869 and the remaining forces surrendered. Topic. Meiji era The Charter Oath was made public at the enthronement of Emperor Meiji of Japan on April 7, 1868. The oath outlined the main aims and the course of action to be followed during Emperor Meiji's reign, setting the legal stage for Japan's modernization. The Meiji leaders also aimed to boost morale and win financial support for the new government. Japan dispatched the Iwakura mission in 1871. The mission traveled the world in order to renegotiate the unequal treaties with the United States and European countries that Japan had been forced into during the Tokugawa shogunate, and to gather information on Western social and economic systems, in order to affect the modernization of Japan. Renegotiation of the unequal treaties was universally unsuccessful, but close observation of the American and European systems inspired members on their return to bring about modernization initiatives in Japan. Japan made a territorial delimitation treaty with Russia in 1875, gaining all the Kuril Islands in exchange for Sakhalin Island. Several prominent writers, under the constant threat of assassination from their political foes, were influential in winning Japanese support for westernization. One such writer was Fukuzawa Yukichi, whose works included Conditions in the West, Leaving Asia, and An Outline of a Theory of Civilization, which detailed Western society and his own philosophies. In the Meiji Restoration period, military and economic power was emphasized. Military strength became the means for national development and stability. Imperial Japan became the only non-Western world power and a major force in East Asia in about 25 years as a result of industrialization and economic development. As writer Albrecht Furst von Urich comments in his booklet, The Secret of Japan's Strength, published in 1942, during the Axis powers period, 
The rise of Japan to a world power during the past 80 years is the greatest miracle in world history. The mighty empires of antiquity, the major political institutions of the Middle Ages and the early modern era, the Spanish Empire, the British Empire, all needed centuries to achieve their full strength. Japan's rise has been meteoric. After only 80 years, it is one of the few great powers that determine the fate of the world. The sudden westernization, once it was adopted, changed almost all areas of Japanese society, ranging from armaments, arts, education, etiquette, fashion, health, justice, politics, language, etc. The Japanese government sent students to Western countries to observe and learn their practices, and also paid foreign advisors in a variety of fields to come to Japan to educate the populace. For instance, the judicial system and constitution were largely modeled on those of Prussia. The government also outlawed customs linked to Japan's feudal past, such as publicly displaying and wearing katana and the top knot, both of which were characteristic of the samurai class, which was abolished together with the caste system. This would later bring the Meiji government into conflict with the samurai. Re-emergence of Christianity Emperor Ogamachi issued edicts to ban Catholicism in 1565 and 1568, but to little effect. Beginning in 1587 with imperial regent Toyotomi Hideyoshi's ban on Jesuit missionaries, Christianity was repressed as a threat to national unity. Under Hideyoshi and the succeeding Tokugawa shogunate, Catholic Christianity was repressed and adherents were persecuted. After the Tokugawa shogunate banned Christianity in 1620, it ceased to exist publicly. Many Catholics went underground, becoming hidden Christians, Yin-ri Kirishitan Kakar Kirishitan, while others lost their lives. After Japan was opened to foreign powers in 1853, many Christian clergymen were sent from Catholic, Protestant, and Orthodox churches, though proselytism was still banned. Only after the Meiji Restoration, was Christianity re-established in Japan. Freedom of religion was introduced in 1871, giving all Christian communities the right to legal existence and preaching. Eastern Orthodoxy was brought to Japan in the 19th century by Saint Nicholas baptized as Ivan Dmitrievich Kasatkin, who was sent in 1861 by the Russian Orthodox Church to Hakodate, Hokkaido as priest to a chapel of the Russian consulate. Saint Nicholas of Japan made his own translation of the New Testament and some other religious books Lenten Triodion, Pentecostarian, Feast Services, Book of Psalms, Ermologion into Japanese. Nicholas has since been canonized as a saint by the Patriarchate of Moscow in 1970, and is now recognized as Saint Nicholas, equal to the Apostles to Japan. His commemoration day is February 16. Andronik Nikolsky, appointed the first bishop of Kyoto and later martyred as the Archbishop of Perm during the Russian Revolution, was also canonized by the Russian Orthodox Church as a saint and martyr in the year 2000. Divi Bethune McCarty was the first ordained Presbyterian minister missionary to visit Japan, in 1861-1862. His gospel tract translated into Japanese was among the first Protestant literature in Japan. In 1865 McCarty moved back to Ningbo, China, but others have followed in his footsteps. There was a burst of growth of Christianity in the late 19th century when Japan reopened its doors to the West. Protestant church growth slowed dramatically in the early 20th century under the influence of the military government during the Showa period. <laughs> Political reform The idea of a written constitution had been a subject of heated debate within and outside of the government since the beginnings of the Meiji government. The conservative Meiji oligarchy viewed anything resembling democracy or republicanism with suspicion and trepidation, and favored a gradualist approach. The freedom and people's rights movement demanded the immediate establishment of an elected national assembly, and the promulgation of a constitution. The constitution recognized the need for change and modernization after removal of the shogunate. We, the successor to the prosperous throne of our predecessors, do humbly and solemnly swear to the imperial founder of our house and to our other imperial ancestors that, in pursuance of a great policy co-extensive with the heavens and with the earth, we shall maintain and secure from decline the ancient form of government. 
in consideration of the progressive tendency of the course of human affairs and in parallel with the advance of civilization, we deem it expedient, in order to give clearness and distinctness to the instructions bequeathed by the imperial founder of our house and by our other imperial ancestors, to establish fundamental laws. Imperial Japan was founded, de jure, after the 1889 signing of Constitution of the Empire of Japan. The constitution formalized much of the empire's political structure and gave many responsibilities and powers to the emperor. Article 4. The emperor is the head of the empire, combining in himself the rights of sovereignty, and exercises them, according to the provisions of the present constitution. Article 6. The emperor gives sanction to laws, and orders them to be promulgated and executed. Article 11. The Emperor has the supreme command of the Army and Navy. In 1890, the Imperial Diet was established in response to the Meiji Constitution. The Diet consisted of the House of Representatives of Japan and the House of Peers. Both houses opened seats for colonial people as well as Japanese. The Imperial Diet continued until 1947. <laughs> Economic development The process of modernization was closely monitored and heavily subsidized by the Meiji government in close connection with a powerful clique of companies known as Zaibatsu e.g., Mitsui and Mitsubishi. Borrowing and adapting technology from the West, Japan gradually took control of much of Asia's market for manufactured goods, beginning with textiles. The economic structure became very mercantilistic, importing raw materials and exporting finished products a reflection of Japan's relative scarcity of raw materials. Economic reforms included a unified modern currency based on the yen, banking, commercial and tax laws, stock exchanges, and a communications network. The government was initially involved in economic modernization, providing a number of model factories to facilitate the transition to the modern period. The transition took time. By the 1890s, however, the Meiji had successfully established a modern institutional framework that would transform Japan into an advanced capitalist economy. By this time, the government had largely relinquished direct control of the modernization process, primarily for budgetary reasons. Many of the former daimyos, whose pensions had been paid in a lump sum, benefited greatly through investments they made in emerging industries. Japan emerged from the Tokugawa Meiji transition as the first Asian industrialized nation. From the onset, the Meiji rulers embraced the concept of a market economy and adopted British and North American forms of free enterprise capitalism. Rapid growth and structural change characterized Japan's two periods of economic development after 1868. Initially, the economy grew only moderately and relied heavily on traditional Japanese agriculture to finance modern industrial infrastructure. By the time the Russo-Japanese War began in 1904, 65% of employment and 38% of the gross domestic product GDP were still based on agriculture, but modern industry had begun to expand substantially. By the late 1920s, manufacturing and mining amounted to 34% of GDP, compared with 20% for all of agriculture. Transportation and communications developed to sustain heavy industrial development. From 1894, Japan built an extensive empire that included Taiwan, Korea, Manchuria, and parts of northern China. The Japanese regarded this sphere of influence as a political and economic necessity, which prevented foreign states from strangling Japan by blocking its access to raw materials and crucial sea lanes. Japan's large military force was regarded as essential to the empire's defense and prosperity by obtaining natural resources that the Japanese islands lacked. Topic. First Sino-Japanese War The First Sino-Japanese War, fought in 1894 and 1895, revolved around the issue of control and influence over Korea under the rule of the Joseon dynasty. Korea had traditionally been a tributary state of China's Qing Empire, which exerted large influence over the conservative Korean officials who gathered around the royal family of the Joseon Kingdom. On February 27, 1876, after several confrontations between Korean isolationists and Japanese, Japan imposed the Japan-Korea Treaty of 1876, forcing Korea open to Japanese trade. The act blocks any other power from dominating Korea, resolving to end the centuries-old Chinese suzerainty. 
On June 4, 1894, Korea requested aid from the Qing Empire in suppressing the Donghak Rebellion. The Qing government sent 2,800 troops to Korea. The Japanese countered by sending an 8,000 troop expeditionary force the Oshima Composite Brigade to Korea. The first 400 troops arrived on June 9 en route to Seoul, and 3,000 landed at Incheon on June 12. The Qing government turned down Japan's suggestion for Japan and China to cooperate to reform the Korean government. When Korea demanded that Japan withdraw its troops from Korea, the Japanese refused. In early June 1894, the 8,000 Japanese troops captured the Korean King Gojong, occupied the royal palace in Seoul and, by June 25, installed a puppet government in Seoul. The new pro-Japanese Korean government granted Japan the right to expel Qing forces while Japan dispatched more troops to Korea. China objected and war ensued. Japanese ground troops routed the Chinese forces on the Laodong Peninsula, and nearly destroyed the Chinese navy in the Battle of the Yalu River. The Treaty of Shimonoseki was signed between Japan and China, which ceded the Laodong Peninsula and the island of Taiwan to Japan. After the peace treaty, Russia, Germany, and France forced Japan to withdraw from Laodong Peninsula. Soon afterwards Russia occupied the Laodong Peninsula, built the Port Arthur Fortress, and based the Russian Pacific Fleet in the port. Germany occupied Zhaozhou Bay, built Tsingtao Fortress and based the German East Asia Squadron in this port. <laughs> Boxer Rebellion In 1900, Japan joined an international military coalition set up in response to the Boxer Rebellion in the Qing Empire of China. Japan provided the largest contingent of troops, 20,840, as well as 18 warships. Of the total number, 20,300 were Imperial Japanese Army troops of the 5th Infantry Division under Lieutenant General Yamaguchi Motumi, the remainder were 540 naval Rikusentai Marines from the Imperial Japanese Navy. At the beginning of the Boxer Rebellion, the Japanese only had 215 troops in northern China stationed at Tientsin, nearly all of them were naval Rikusentai from the Kasagi and the Otago, under the command of Captain Shimamura Hayo. The Japanese were able to contributed 52 men to the Seymour expedition. On 12 June 1900, the advance of the Seymour expedition was halted some 30 miles from the capital, by mixed boxer and Chinese regular army forces. The vastly outnumbered allies withdrew to the vicinity of Tianjin, having suffered more than 300 casualties. The Army General Staff in Tokyo had become aware of the worsening conditions in China and had drafted ambitious contingency plans, but the government in the wake of the triple intervention five years prior, refused to deploy large number of troops unless requested by the Western powers. However three days later, a provisional force of 1,300 troops commanded by Major General Fukushima Yasumasa, was to be deployed to northern China. Fukushima was chosen because his ability to speak fluent English which enabled him to communicate with the British commander, the force landed near Tianjin on 5 July. On 17 June 1900, naval Rikusentai from the Kasagi and Otago had joined British, Russian, and German sailors to seize the Dagu forts near Tianjin. The British, in light of the precarious situation were compelled to ask Japan for additional reinforcements as the Japanese had the only readily available forces in the region. Britain at the time was heavily engaged in the Boer War, consequently a large part of the British Army was tied down in South Africa, also deploying large numbers of troops from its garrisons in India would take too much time and weaken internal security there. Overriding personal doubts, Foreign Minister Aoki Shuzo calculated that the advantages of participating in an Allied coalition were too attractive to ignore. Prime Minister Yamagata likewise concurred, but others in the cabinet demanded that there be guarantees from the British in return for the risks and costs of the major deployment of Japanese troops. On 6 July 1900, the 5th Infantry Division was alerted for possible deployment to China, but no timetable was set for its deployment. Two days later, with more ground troops urgently needed to lift the siege of the foreign legations at Peking, the British ambassador offered the Japanese government one million British pounds in exchange for Japanese participation. Shortly afterward, advance units of the 5th Division departed for China, bringing Japanese strength to 3,800 personnel of the then 17,000 Allied force. The commander of the 5th Division, Lieutenant General Yamaguchi Motumi had taken operational control from Fukushima. 
Japanese troops were involved in the storming of Tianjin on July 14, after which the Allies consolidated and awaited the remainder of the 5th Division and other coalition reinforcements. By that time the siege of legations was lifted on the 14th of August 1900. The Japanese force of 13,000 was the largest single contingent, made up about 40% of the approximately 33,000 strong allied expeditionary force. Japanese troops involved in the fighting had acquitted themselves well, although a British military observer felt their aggressiveness, densely packed formations, and over-willingness to attack cost them excessive and disproportionate casualties. For example, during the Tianjin fighting, the Japanese suffered more than half of the Allied casualties, 400 out of 730, but comprised less than one quarter of the force of 17,000. Similarly at Beijing, the Japanese accounted for almost two-thirds of the losses 280 of 453 even though they constituted slightly less than half of the assault force. After the uprising, Japan and the Western countries signed the Boxer Protocol with China, which permitted them to station troops on Chinese soil to protect their citizens. After the treaty, Russia continued to occupy all of Manchuria. Russo-Japanese War The Russo-Japanese War was a conflict for control of Korea and parts of Manchuria between the Russian Empire and Empire of Japan that took place from 1904 to 1905. The victory greatly raised Japan's stature in the world of global politics. The war is marked by the Japanese opposition of Russian interests in Korea, Manchuria, and China, notably, the Laodong Peninsula, controlled by the city of Port Arthur. Originally, in the Treaty of Shimonoseki, Port Arthur had been given to Japan. This part of the treaty was overruled by Western powers, which gave the port to the Russian Empire, furthering Russian interests in the region. These interests came into conflict with Japanese interests. The war began with a surprise attack on the Russian Eastern Fleet stationed at Port Arthur, which was followed by the Battle of Port Arthur. Those elements that attempted escape were defeated by the Japanese Navy under Admiral Togo Heihachiro at the Battle of the Yellow Sea. Following a late start, the Russian Baltic fleet was denied passage through the British-controlled Suez Canal. The fleet arrived on the scene a year later, only to be annihilated in the Battle of Tsushima. While the ground war did not fare as poorly for the Russians, the Japanese forces were significantly more aggressive than their Russian counterparts and gained a political advantage that culminated with the Treaty of Portsmouth, negotiated in the United States by the American President Theodore Roosevelt. As a result, Russia lost the part of Sakhalin Island south of 50 degrees north latitude which became Karafuto Prefecture, as well as many mineral rights in Manchuria. In addition, Russia's defeat cleared the way for Japan to annex Korea outright in 1910. <laughs> <laughs> Annexation of Korea In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, various Western countries actively competed for influence, trade, and territory in East Asia, and Japan sought to join these modern colonial powers. The newly modernized Meiji government of Japan turned to Korea, then in the sphere of influence of China's Qing dynasty. The Japanese government initially sought to separate Korea from Qing and make Korea a Japanese satellite in order to further their security and national interests. In January 1876, following the Meiji Restoration, Japan employed gunboat diplomacy to pressure the Joseon dynasty into signing the Japan Korea Treaty of 1876, which granted extraterritorial rights to Japanese citizens and opened three Korean ports to Japanese trade. The rights granted to Japan under this unequal treaty, were similar to those granted Western powers in Japan following the visit of Commodore Perry. Japanese involvement in Korea increased during the 1890s, a period of political upheaval. Korea was occupied and declared a Japanese protectorate following the Japan-Korea Treaty of 1905. After proclaimed the founding of the Korean Empire, Korea was officially annexed in Japan through the Annexation Treaty in 1910. In Korea, the period is usually described as the time of Japanese forced occupation. Hangul, Ilj Gangjeongi Ilj E Gangjeongi, Hanja, Ri Di Chang Zonj. Other terms include Japanese Imperial Period, Hangul, Ilj Sade Ilj E Sade, Hanja, Ri Di Shi Dai, or Japanese Administration, Hangul, Weijong Wae Jung, Hanja. In Japan, a more common description is the Korea of Japanese rule. 
Ri Ben Tong Ji Shi Dai No Chao Xi'an Nippon Tochi Jidai No Chosen. The Korean Peninsula was officially part of the Empire of Japan for 35 years, from August 29, 1910, until the formal Japanese rule ended, de jure, on September 2, 1945, upon the surrender of Japan in World War II. The 1905 and 1910 treaties were eventually declared null and void by both Japan and South Korea in 1965. Topic. Taisho era 1912 to 1926. Topic. World War I Japan entered World War I on the side of the Allies in 1914, seizing the opportunity of Germany's distraction with the European War to expand its sphere of influence in China and the Pacific. Japan declared war on Germany on August 23, 1914. Japanese and Allied British Empire forces soon moved to occupy Tsingtao Fortress, the German East Asia Squadron base, German leased territories in China's Shandong Province as well as the Marianas, Caroline, and Marshall Islands in the Pacific, which were part of German New Guinea. The swift invasion in the German territory of the Kiaochu Bay Concession and the Siege of Tsingtao proved successful. The German colonial troops surrendered on November 7, 1915, and Japan gained the German holdings. With its Western allies, notably the United Kingdom, heavily involved in the war in Europe, Japan dispatched a naval fleet to the Mediterranean Sea to aid Allied shipping. Japan sought further to consolidate its position in China by presenting the 21 demands to China in January 1915. In the face of slow negotiations with the Chinese government, widespread anti-Japanese sentiment in China, and international condemnation, Japan withdrew the final group of demands, and treaties were signed in May 1915. The Anglo-Japanese alliance was renewed and expanded in scope twice, in 1905 and 1911, before its demise in 1921. It was officially terminated in 1923. Siberian intervention After the fall of the Tsarist regime and the later Provisional Regime in 1917, the new Bolshevik government signed a separate peace treaty with Germany. After this the Russians fought amongst themselves in a multi-sided civil war. In July 1918, President Wilson asked the Japanese government to supply 7,000 troops as part of an international coalition of 25,000 troops planned to support the American Expeditionary Force Siberia. Prime Minister Terauchi Masataki agreed to send 12,000 troops but under the Japanese command rather than as part of an international coalition. The Japanese had several hidden motives for the venture, which included an intense hostility and fear of communism, a determination to recoup historical losses to Russia, and the desire to settle the northern problem in Japan's security, either through the creation of a buffer state or through outright territorial acquisition. By November 1918, more than 70,000 Japanese troops under Chief of Staff Yui Mitsu had occupied all ports and major towns in the Russian maritime provinces and eastern Siberia. Japan received 765 Polish orphans from Siberia. In June 1920, around 450 Japanese civilians and 350 Japanese soldiers, along with Russian White Army supporters, were massacred by partisan forces associated with the Red Army at Nikolaevsk on the Amur River. The United States and its Allied coalition partners consequently withdrew from Vladivostok after the capture and execution of White Army leader Admiral Alexander Kolchak by the Red Army. However, the Japanese decided to stay, primarily due to fears of the spread of communism so close to Japan and Japanese-controlled Korea and Manchuria. The Japanese army provided military support to the Japanese-backed Provisional Priamori government based in Vladivostok against the Moscow-backed Far Eastern Republic. The continued Japanese presence concerned the United States, which suspected that Japan had territorial designs on Siberia and the Russian Far East. Subjected to intense diplomatic pressure by the United States and United Kingdom, and facing increasing domestic opposition due to the economic and human cost, the administration of Prime Minister Kato Tomosaburo withdrew the Japanese forces in October 1922. Japanese casualties from the expedition were 5,000 dead from combat or illness, with the expedition costing over 900 million yen. Topic. Taisho democracy. 
The two-party political system that had been developing in Japan since the turn of the century came of age after World War I, giving rise to the nickname for the period, Taisho Democracy. The public grew disillusioned with the growing national debt and the new election laws, which retained the old minimum tax qualifications for voters. Calls were raised for universal suffrage and the dismantling of the old political party network. Students, university professors, and journalists, bolstered by labor unions and inspired by a variety of democratic, socialist, communist, anarchist, and other thoughts, mounted large but orderly public demonstrations in favor of universal male suffrage in 1919 and 1920. The election of Kato Kome as Prime Minister of Japan continued democratic reforms that had been advocated by influential individuals on the left. This culminated in the passage of universal male suffrage in March 1925. This bill gave all male subjects over the age of 25 the right to vote, provided they had lived in their electoral districts for at least one year and were not homeless. The electorate thereby increased from 3.3 million to 12.5 million. In the political milieu of the day, there was a proliferation of new parties, including socialist and communist parties. Fear of a broader electorate, left-wing power, and the growing social change led to the passage of the Peace Preservation Law in 1925, which forbade any change in the political structure or the abolition of private property. Unstable coalitions and divisiveness in the Diet led the Kensikai and the Seiyu Hanto to merge as the Rikan Minseito in 1927. The Rikan Minseito platform was committed to the parliamentary system, democratic politics, and world peace. Thereafter, until 1932, the Seiyu Kai and the Rikan Minseito alternated in power. Despite the political realignments and hope for more orderly government, domestic economic crises plagued whichever party held power. Fiscal austerity programs and appeals for public support of such conservative government policies as the peace preservation law—including reminders of the moral obligation to make sacrifices for the emperor and the state—were attempted as solutions. <laughs> Early Showa Topic. Expansion of democracy In 1932, Park Chun-kum was elected to the House of Representatives in the Japanese general election as the first person elected from a colonial background. In 1935, democracy was introduced in Taiwan and in response to Taiwanese public opinion, local assemblies were established. In 1942, 38 colonial people were elected to local assemblies of the Japanese homeland. Overall, during the 1920s, Japan changed its direction toward a democratic system of government. However, parliamentary government was not rooted deeply enough to withstand the economic and political pressures of the 1930s, during which military leaders became increasingly influential. These shifts in power were made possible by the ambiguity and imprecision of the Meiji Constitution, particularly as regarded the position of the emperor in relation to the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Military and social organizations Important institutional links existed between the party and government Kodoha and military and political organizations, such as the Imperial Young Federation and the political department of the Kempatai. Amongst the Himitsu Kesha secret societies, the Kokoryu Kai and Koka Shikai Shugi Gakume National Socialist League also had close ties to the government. The Tonarigumi Residence Committee groups, the Nation Service Society National Government Trade Union, and Imperial Farmers Association were all allied as well. Other organizations and groups related with the government in wartime were, Double Leaf Society, Kokuhansha, Taisei Yokusinkai, Imperial Youth Corps, Kisicho to 1945, Shintoist Rights Research Council, Treaty Faction, Fleet Faction, and Volunteer Fighting Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Nationalist factors Sadao Araki was an important figurehead and founder of the Army Party and the most important right-wing thinker in his time. His first ideological works date from his leadership of the Kodoha Imperial Benevolent Rule or Action Group, opposed by the Tosia control group led by General Kazushige Ugaki. 
He linked the ancient Bushido code and contemporary local and European fascist ideals see statism in Showa Japan, to form the ideological basis of the movement Showa nationalism. From September 1931, the Japanese were becoming more locked into the course that would lead them into the Second World War, with Araki leading the way. Totalitarianism, militarism, and expansionism were to become the rule, with fewer voices able to speak against it. In a September 23 news conference, Araki first mentioned the philosophy of Kodoha, the Imperial Way faction. The concept of Kodo linked the emperor, the people, land, and morality as indivisible. This led to the creation of a new Shinto and increased emperor worship. On February 26, 1936, a coup d'état was attempted the February 26 incident. Launched by the ultranationalist Kodoha faction with the military, it ultimately failed due to the intervention of the emperor. Kodoha members were purged from the top military positions and the Tosia faction gained dominance. However, both factions believed in expansionism, a strong military, and a coming war. Furthermore, Kodoha members, while removed from the military, still had political influence within the government. The state was being transformed to serve the army and the emperor. Symbolic katana swords came back into fashion as the martial embodiment of these beliefs, and the Nambu pistol became its contemporary equivalent, with the implicit message that the army doctrine of close combat would prevail. The final objective, as envisioned by army thinkers such as Sadao Araki and right-wing line followers, was a return to the old Sogonate system, but in the form of a contemporary military Sogonate. In such a government the emperor would once more be a figurehead, as in the Edo period. Real power would fall to a leader very similar to a Führer or Duce, though with the power less nakedly held. On the other hand, the traditionalist navy militarists defended the emperor and a constitutional monarchy with a significant religious aspect. A third point of view was supported by Prince Chichibu, a brother of Emperor Showa, who repeatedly counseled him to implement a direct imperial rule, even if that meant suspending the constitution. With the launching of the Imperial Rule Assistance Association in 1940 by Prime Minister Fumimaro Kano, Japan would turn to a form of government that resembled totalitarianism. This unique style of government, very similar to fascism, was known as statism in Showa Japan. Topic. Economic factors At same time, the Zaibatsu trading groups principally Mitsubishi, Mitsui, Sumitomo, and Yasuda looked towards great future expansion. Their main concern was a shortage of raw materials. Prime Minister Fumimaro Kano combined social concerns with the needs of capital, and planned for expansion. The main goals of Japan's expansionism were acquisition and protection of spheres of influence, maintenance of territorial integrity, acquisition of raw materials, and access to Asian markets. Western nations, notably Great Britain, France, and the United States, had for long exhibited great interest in the commercial opportunities in China and other parts of Asia. These opportunities had attracted Western investment because of the availability of raw materials for both domestic production and re export to Asia. Japan desired these opportunities in planning the development of the Greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere. The Great Depression, just as in many other countries, hindered Japan's economic growth. The Japanese Empire's main problem lay in that rapid industrial expansion had turned the country into a major manufacturing and industrial power that required raw materials, however, these had to be obtained from overseas, as there was a critical lack of natural resources on the home islands. In the 1920s and 1930s, Japan needed to import raw materials such as iron, rubber, and oil to maintain strong economic growth. Most of these resources came from the United States. The Japanese felt that acquiring resource-rich territories would establish economic self-sufficiency and independence, and they also hoped to jumpstart the nation's economy in the midst of the Depression. As a result, Japan set its sights on East Asia, specifically Manchuria with its many resources. Japan needed these resources to continue its economic development and maintain national integrity. Topic: Later Showa 1931 to 1941, Expansionism and War. Topic: Pre-war expansionism. Topic: Manchuria In 1931, Japan invaded and conquered northeast China Manchuria with little resistance. 
Japan claimed that this invasion was a liberation of the local Manchus from the Chinese, although the majority of the population were Han Chinese as a result of the large-scale settlement of Chinese in Manchuria in the 19th century. Japan then established a puppet regime called Manchukuo Chinese, Man Guo and installed the last Manchu emperor of China, Puyi, as the official head of state. Jahol, a Chinese territory bordering Manchukuo, was later also taken in 1933. This puppet regime had to carry on a protracted pacification campaign against the anti-Japanese volunteer armies in Manchuria. In 1936, Japan created a similar Mongolian puppet state in Inner Mongolia named Mengjiang Chinese, Menjiang which was also predominantly Chinese as a result of recent Han immigration to the area. At that time, East Asians were banned from immigration to North America and Australia, but the newly established Manchukuo was open to immigration of Asians. Japan had an emigration plan to encourage colonization. The Japanese population in Manchuria subsequently grew to 850,000. With rich natural resources and labor force in Manchuria, army owned corporations turned Manchuria into a solid material support machine of the Japanese army. Second Sino-Japanese War Japan invaded China proper in 1937, creating what was essentially a three-way war between Japan, Mao Zedong's communists, and Chiang Kai-shek's nationalists. On December 13 of that same year, the nationalist capital of Nanking surrendered to Japanese troops. In the event known as the Nanking Massacre, Japanese troops massacred a large number of the defending garrison. It is estimated that as many as 300,000 people, including civilians, may have been killed, although the actual numbers are uncertain and the government of the People's Republic of China has never undertaken a full accounting of the massacre. In total, an estimated 20 million Chinese, mostly civilians, were killed during World War II. A puppet state was also set up in China quickly afterwards, headed by Wang Jingwei. The Second Sino-Japanese War continued into World War II with the Communists and Nationalists in a temporary and uneasy nominal alliance against the Japanese. Topic. Clashes with the Soviet Union In 1938, the Japanese 19th Division entered territory claimed by the Soviet Union, leading to the Battle of Lake Kasan. This incursion was founded in the Japanese belief that the Soviet Union misinterpreted the demarcation of the boundary, as stipulated in the Treaty of Peking, between Imperial Russia and Manchu China and subsequent supplementary agreements on demarcation, and furthermore, that the demarcation markers were tampered with. On May 11, 1939, in the Nomanhan Incident Battle of Kalkan Gol, a Mongolian cavalry unit of some 70 to 90 men entered the disputed area in search of grazing for their horses, and encountered Manchukyoan cavalry, who drove them out. Two days later the Mongolian force returned and the Manchukyoans were unable to evict them. The IJA 23rd Division and other units of the Kwantung Army then became involved. Joseph Stalin ordered Stavka, the Red Army's high command, to develop a plan for a counterstrike against the Japanese. In late August, Georgi Zhukov employed encircling tactics that made skillful use of superior artillery, armor, and air forces. This offensive nearly annihilated the 23rd Division and decimated the IJA 7th Division. On September 15, an armistice was arranged. Nearly two years later, on April 13, 1941, the parties signed a neutrality pact, in which the Soviet Union pledged to respect the territorial integrity and inviolability of Manchukuo, while Japan agreed similarly for the Mongolian People's Republic. Topic. Tripartite Pact In 1938, Japan prohibited the expulsion of the Jews in Japan, Manchuria, and China in accordance with the spirit of racial equality on which Japan had insisted for many years. The Second Sino Japanese War had seen tensions rise between Imperial Japan and the United States. Events such as the Panay Incident and the Nanking Massacre turned American public opinion against Japan. With the occupation of French Indochina in the years of 1940-41, and with the continuing war in China, the United States placed embargoes on Japan of strategic materials such as scrap metal and oil, which were vitally needed for the war effort. The Japanese were faced with the option of either withdrawing from China and losing face or seizing and securing new sources of raw materials in the resource-rich, European-controlled colonies of Southeast Asia. 
specifically British Malaya and the Dutch East Indies modern-day Indonesia. On September 27, 1940, Imperial Japan signed the Tripartite Pact with Nazi Germany and Fascist Italy. Their objectives were to "...establish and maintain a new order of things." in their respective world regions and spheres of influence, with Nazi Germany and Fascist Italy in Europe, and Imperial Japan in Asia. The signatories of this alliance become known as the Axis powers. The pact also called for mutual protection. If any one of the member powers was attacked by a country not already at war, excluding the Soviet Union, and for technological and economic cooperation between the signatories. For the sake of their own people and nation, Prime Minister Kano formed the Taisei Yokusinkai Imperial Rule Assistance Association on October 12, 1940, as a ruling party in Japan. Topic: <laughs> Pacific War 1941 to 1945. Facing an oil embargo by the United States as well as dwindling domestic reserves, the Japanese government decided to execute a plan developed by Isoroku Yamamoto to attack the United States Pacific Fleet in Hawaii. The Imperial Japanese Navy made its surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, Oahu, Hawaii, on Sunday morning, December 7, 1941. American forces sustained significant losses. The primary objective of the attack was to incapacitate the United States long enough for Japan to establish its long-planned Southeast Asian Empire and defensible buffer zones. The American public saw the attack as a treacherous act and rallied against the Japanese. Four days later, Adolf Hitler of Germany, and Benito Mussolini of Italy declared war on the United States, merging the separate conflicts. The United States entered the European theater and Pacific theater in full force, thereby bringing the United States to World War II on the side of the Allies. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Japanese conquests. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Japanese launched offensives against Allied forces in East and Southeast Asia, with simultaneous attacks in British Hong Kong, British Malaya, and the Philippines. Hong Kong surrendered to the Japanese on December 25. In Malaya the Japanese overwhelmed an Allied army composed of British, Indian, Australian and Malay forces. The Japanese were quickly able to advance down the Malayan Peninsula, forcing the Allied forces to retreat towards Singapore. The Allies lacked air cover and tanks, the Japanese had total air superiority. The sinking of HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Repulse on December 10, 1941, led to the east coast of Malaya being exposed to Japanese landings and the elimination of British naval power in the area. By the end of January 1942, the last Allied forces crossed the Strait of Johor and into Singapore. In the Philippines, the Japanese pushed the combined Filipino-American force towards the Bataan Peninsula and later the island of Corregidor. By January 1942, General Douglas MacArthur and President Manuel L. Quezon were forced to flee in the face of Japanese advance. This marked among one of the worst defeats suffered by the Americans, leaving over 70,000 American and Filipino prisoners of war in the custody of the Japanese. On February 15, 1942, Singapore, due to the overwhelming superiority of Japanese forces and encirclement tactics, fell to the Japanese, causing the largest surrender of British-led military personnel in history. An estimated 80,000 Indian, Australian and British troops were taken as prisoners of war, joining 50,000 taken in the Japanese invasion of Malaya modern-day Malaysia. The Japanese then seized the key oil production zones of Borneo, Central Java, Malang, Cepu, Sumatra, and Dutch New Guinea of the late Dutch East Indies, defeating the Dutch forces. However, Allied sabotage had made it difficult for the Japanese to restore oil production to its pre-war peak. The Japanese then consolidated their lines of supply through capturing key islands of the Pacific, including Guadalcanal. Topic: Tide turns. Japanese military strategists were keenly aware of the unfavorable discrepancy between the industrial potential of Japan and the United States. Because of this they reasoned that Japanese success hinged on their ability to extend the strategic advantage gained at Pearl Harbor with additional rapid strategic victories. The Japanese command reasoned that only decisive destruction of the United States Pacific Fleet and conquest of its remote outposts would ensure that the Japanese Empire would not be overwhelmed by America's industrial might. 
In April 1942, Japan was bombed for the first time in the Doolittle Raid. In May 1942, failure to decisively defeat the Allies at the Battle of the Coral Sea, in spite of Japanese numerical superiority, equated to a strategic defeat for the Japanese. This setback was followed in June 1942 by the catastrophic loss of four fleet carriers at the Battle of Midway, the first decisive defeat for the Imperial Japanese Navy. It proved to be the turning point of the war as the Navy lost its offensive strategic capability and never managed to reconstruct the critical mass of both large numbers of carriers and well-trained air groups. Australian land forces defeated Japanese Marines in New Guinea at the Battle of Milne Bay in September 1942, which was the first land defeat suffered by the Japanese in the Pacific. Further victories by the Allies at Guadalcanal in September 1942, and New Guinea in 1943 put the Empire of Japan on the defensive for the remainder of the war, with Guadalcanal in particular sapping their already limited oil supplies. During 1943 and 1944, Allied forces, backed by the industrial might and vast raw material resources of the United States, advanced steadily towards Japan. The 6th United States Army, led by General MacArthur, landed on Leyte on October 20, 1944. In the subsequent months, during the Philippines Campaign 1944-45, the combined United States forces, together with the native guerrilla units, liberated the Philippines. The sinking of the Yamato and the Musashi, Japan's largest warships and two of the largest warships ever built also played a key factor in the Empire's defeat. Topic. Surrender By 1944, the Allies had seized or bypassed and neutralized many of Japan's strategic bases through amphibious landings and bombardment. This, coupled with the losses inflicted by Allied submarines on Japanese shipping routes began to strangle Japan's economy and undermine its ability to supply its army. By early 1945, the U.S. Marines had wrested control of the Ogasawara Islands in several hard-fought battles such as the Battle of Iwo Jima, marking the beginning of the fall of the islands of Japan. After securing airfields in Saipan and Guam in the summer of 1944, the United States Army Air Forces undertook an intense strategic bombing campaign, using incendiary bombs, burning Japanese cities in an effort to pulverize Japan's industry and shatter its morale. The Operation Meeting House raid on Tokyo on the night of March 9–10, 1945, led to the deaths of approximately 100,000 civilians. Approximately 350,000 to 500,000 civilians died in 66 other Japanese cities as a result of the incendiary bombing campaign on Japan. Concurrent to these attacks, Japan's vital coastal shipping operations were severely hampered with extensive aerial mining by the U.S.'s Operation Starvation. Regardless, these efforts did not succeed in persuading the Japanese military to surrender. In mid-August 1945, the United States dropped nuclear weapons on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These atomic bombings were the first and only used against another nation in warfare. These two bombs killed approximately 120,000 to 140,000 people in a matter of minutes, and as many as a result of nuclear radiation in the following weeks, months and years. The bombs killed as many as 140,000 people in Hiroshima and 80,000 in Nagasaki by the end of 1945. At the Yalta Agreement, the US, the UK, and the USSR had agreed that the USSR would enter the war on Japan within three months of the defeat of Germany in Europe. This Soviet-Japanese war led to the fall of Japan's Manchurian occupation, Soviet occupation of South Sakhalin Island, and a real, imminent threat of Soviet invasion of the home islands of Japan. This was a significant factor for some internal parties in the Japanese decision to surrender to the U.S. and gain some protection, rather than face simultaneous Soviet invasion as well as defeat by the U.S. Likewise, the superior numbers of the armies of the Soviet Union in Europe was a factor in the U.S. decision to demonstrate the use of atomic weapons to the USSR, just as the Allied victory in Europe was evolving into the division of Germany and Berlin, the division of Europe with the Iron Curtain and the subsequent Cold War. Having ignored Mokusatsu the Potsdam Declaration, the Empire of Japan surrendered and ended World War II, after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the declaration of war by the Soviet Union. In a national radio address on August 15, Emperor Hirohito announced the surrender to the Japanese people by Gaiokuan Hoso. 
Days after the surrender the emperor announced that he was not a god. This put an end to the long custom of emperor worship. His title was then changed from imperial sovereign to constitutional monarch. It heralded the rise of a new Japan as the emperor was seen to represent the old Japan. Along with this, the emperor stopped wearing imperial robes but switched to a shirt, trousers and a tie, looking more, a prime minister than an emperor. <laughs> End of the Empire of Japan Occupation of Japan A period known as Occupied Japan followed after the war, largely spearheaded by United States General of the Army Douglas MacArthur to revise the Japanese constitution and demilitarize Japan. The Allied occupation, with economic and political assistance, continued well into the 1950s. Allied forces ordered Japan to abolish the Meiji Constitution and enforce the Constitution of Japan, then rename the Empire of Japan as Japan on May 3, 1947. Japan adopted a parliamentary-based political system, while the emperor changed to symbolic status. American General of the Army Douglas MacArthur later commended the new Japanese government that he helped establish and the new Japanese period when he was about to send the American forces to the Korean War. The Japanese people, since the war, have undergone the greatest reformation recorded in modern history. With a commendable will, eagerness to learn, and marked capacity to understand, they have, from the ashes left in war's wake, erected in Japan an edifice dedicated to the supremacy of individual liberty and personal dignity, and in the ensuing process there has been created a truly representative government committed to the advance of political morality, freedom of economic enterprise, and social justice. Politically, economically, and socially Japan is now abreast of many free nations of the earth and will not again fail the universal trust. I sent all four of our occupation divisions to the Korean battlefront without the slightest qualms as to the effect of the resulting power vacuum upon Japan. The results fully justified my faith. I know of no nation more serene, orderly, and industrious, nor in which higher hopes can be entertained for future constructive service in the advance of the human race. For historian John W. Dower, In retrospect, apart from the military officer corps, the purge of alleged militarists and ultranationalists that was conducted under the occupation had relatively small impact on the long-term composition of men of influence in the public and private sectors. The purge initially brought new blood into the political parties, but this was offset by the return of huge numbers of formerly purged conservative politicians to national as well as local politics in the early 1950s. In the bureaucracy, the purge was negligible from the outset. In the economic sector, the purge similarly was only mildly disruptive, affecting less than 1,600 individuals spread among some 400 companies. Everywhere one looks, the corridors of power in post-war Japan are crowded with men whose talents had already been recognized during the war years, and who found the same talents highly prized in the new Japan. Influential personnel Topic. Political In the administration of Japan dominated by the military political movement during World War II, the civil central government was under the management of military men and their right-wing civilian allies, along with members of the nobility and imperial family. The emperor was in the center of this power structure as supreme commander-in-chief of the imperial armed forces and head of state. Early period Prince Yamagata Aritomo World War II Prince Fumimaro Kano Koki Hirota Hideki Tojo Topic. Diplomats Marquis Komura Jutaro Count Mutsu Munamitsu Count Hayashi Tadasu Count Kaneko Kantaro Viscount Aoki Shuzo Viscount Ishikikajiro Topic. Military The military of Imperial Japan was divided into two main branches, the Imperial Japanese Navy and the Imperial Japanese Army. To coordinate operations, the Imperial General Headquarters, headed by the Emperor, was established in 1893. Prominent generals and leaders Imperial Japanese Navy, Navy of the Empire of Japan 
Admiral Count Ito Sukeyuki (1843–1914), Admiral Viscount Inoue Yoshika (1845–1929), Admiral Marquis Togo Heihachiro (1847–1934), Battle of Tsushima. Admiral Prince Arasugawa Takahito (1862–1913), Admiral Baron Ijuan Guro (1852–1921), Admiral Prince Higashi Fushimi Yorihito (1867–1922), Admiral Baron Shimamura Hayo (1858–1923), Admiral Baron Kato Tomosaburo (1861–1923). Admiral Prince Fushimi Hiryasu (1876–1946), Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto (1884–1943), Attack on Pearl Harbor, Battle of Midway, Admiral Osami Nagano (1880–1947), Admiral Minaichi Koga (1885–1944), Vice Admiral Chuichi Nagumo (1887–1944), Attack on Pearl Harbor, Battle of Midway. Imperial Japanese Army, Army of the Empire of Japan Marshal Prince Yamagata Aritomo, Chief of Staff of the Army, Prime Minister of Japan Marshal Prince Oyama Iwao, Chief of Staff of the Army Marshal Prince Komatsu Akihito, Chief of Staff of the Army Marshal Prince Kotahito Kanan, Chief of Staff of the Army Marshal Hajime Sugiyama, Chief of Staff of the Army General Viscount Kodama Gintara, Chief of Staff of the Army General Hideki Tojo, Prime Minister of Japan General Yoshijiro Umazu, Chief of Staff of the Army Lieutenant General Oshima Kenichi, Chief of Staff of the Army, Minister of War during World War I Topic. Notable scholars, scientists Topic. 19th century Anthropologists, ethnologists, archaeologists, historians Medical scientists, biologists, evolutionary theorists, geneticists Inventors, industrialists, engineers Philosophers, educators, mathematicians, polymaths Chemists, physicists, geologists 20th century Topic Timeline 1926 Emperor Taisho dies December 25th 1927 Tanaka Gichi becomes prime minister April 20th 1928 Emperor Showa is formally installed as emperor November 10th 1929, Osachi Hamaguchi becomes Prime Minister July 2nd. 1930, Hamaguchi is wounded in an assassination attempt November 14th. 1931, Hamaguchi dies and Wakatsuki Reijiro becomes Prime Minister April 14th. Japan occupies Manchuria after the Mukden incident September 18th. Inakai Tsuyoshi becomes Prime Minister December 13th and increases funding for the military in China. 1932, after an attack on Japanese monks in Shanghai January 18th, Japanese forces shell the city January 29th. Manchukuo is established with Henry Puyi as emperor February 29th. Inakai is assassinated during a coup attempt and Saito Makoto becomes prime minister May 15th. Japan is censured by the League of Nations December 7th. 1933, Japan leaves the League of Nations March 27th. 1934, Keisuke Okada becomes Prime Minister July 8. Japan withdraws from the Washington Naval Treaty December 29. 1936, coup attempt February 26 incident. Koki Hirota becomes Prime Minister March 9. Japan signs its first pact with Germany November 25 and occupies Tsingtao December 3. Mengjiang established in Inner Mongolia 1937, Senjuro Hayashi becomes Prime Minister February 2nd. Prince Fumimaro Kano becomes Prime Minister June 4th. Battle of Lugo Bridge July 7th. Japan captures Beijing July 31st. Japanese troops occupy Nanjing December 13th, beginning the Nanjing Massacre. 1938, Battle of Taerjang March 24th. 
Canton falls to Japanese forces October 21. 1939, Hiranuma Kiichiro becomes Prime Minister January 5. Abe Nobuyuki becomes Prime Minister August 30. 1940, Mitsumasa Yonai becomes Prime Minister January 16. Kano becomes Prime Minister for a second term July 22. Hundred Regiments Offensive August September. Japan occupies French Indochina in the wake of the fall of Paris, and signs the Tripartite Pact September 27. 1941, General Hideki Tojo becomes Prime Minister October 18. Japanese naval forces attack Pearl Harbor, Hawaii December 7, prompting the United States to declare war on Japan December 8. Japan conquers Hong Kong December 25. 1942, Battle of Ambon January 30 to February 3, Battle of Palembang February 13 to 15. Singapore surrenders to Japan February 15. Japan bombs Australia February 19. Indian Ocean raid March 31st to April 10. Doolittle raid on Tokyo April 18. Battle of the Coral Sea May 4 to 8. US and Filipino forces in the Battle of the Philippines 1942 surrender May 8. Allied victory at the Battle of Midway June 6. Allied victory in the Battle of Milne Bay September 5. Battle of the Santa Cruz Islands October 25 to 27 1943 Allied victory in the Battle of Guadalcanal February 9 Allied victory at the Battle of Tarawa November 23 1944 Tojo resigns and Kuniaki Koizo becomes prime minister July 22 Battle of Leyte Gulf October 23 to 26 1945, U.S. bombers begin firebombing of major Japanese cities. Allied victory at the Battle of Iwo Jima March 26. Admiral Kantaro Suzuki becomes Prime Minister April 7. Allied victory at the Battle of Okinawa June 21. U.S. drops atomic bombs on Hiroshima August 6 and Nagasaki August 9. The Soviet Union and Mongolia invade Japanese colonies of Manchukuo, Mengjiang, Inner Mongolia, Northern Korea, South Sakhalin and the Kuril Islands August 9 to September 2. Japan surrenders September 2. Allied occupation begins. 1947, the Constitution of Japan comes into force. Topic: Emperors. Topic: See also. Agriculture in the Empire of Japan. Demography of the Empire of Japan. Foreign commerce and shipping of Empire of Japan. Industrial production in Showa Japan. Germany Japan industrial cooperation before World War II. Japanese mining and energy resources World War II. Japanese nuclear weapon program List of territories occupied by Imperial Japan Topic Notes Topic References Topic Citations Topic Sources Topic External Links Media related to Empire of Japan at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>